name is Akash Patel. Uh, I'm with MakerDAO. So this is a review of short-term interest rates uh, in the theory of DeFi space. And I thought uh, I would have a unique view because I see the plumbing a little bit. So I just kind of want you to give, I wanted to give you guys my take, and this is my opinion only. So again, this is not financial advice. <clears throat> uh, again, this is just a review of the interest rates. And, you know, just what are those, some of the potential risks? Uh, this is a little bit of my biography. I have like 16 years of market making experience uh, on the New York Stock Exchange, the American Stock Exchange. Okay, so one of the big points I want to make is a currency is not a currency unless it has a yield. So try to keep that in mind. Uh, and then let's go through the history a little bit. So, you know, Maker CDP is kind of started around January 2018 with a rate of 0.5% stability fee. By early Ju uh, two th July 2018, DAI supply increases to about 50 million. Um, the biggest use case for DAI is, you know, people are basically using it for leverage. So they lock up their e ETH, they mint DAI, they sell that DAI and buy something else, usually ETH. Uh, so that's another key point. Who are they selling it to? They're selling it to market makers. So Initially, market makers were loaded up on DAI, and there, there are about five big market makers in the space. Um, so this is a quick chart to show you kind of the growth of DAI supply over time. You know, it starts at zero, goes to about 80 million currently. Uh, this one is to look at the, the blue line is basically telling you the stability fee interest rate, right? So most of the time it was uh, half a percent in 2018. It, it went to two and a half and then back to half a percent in 2018. 2019 is where it gets a lot more interesting and, uh, and we'll get into the story of why. So, uh, again, this is just a DAI USD price from uh, Bitfinex. Uh, this is to remind everyone kind of what the chart looked like for ETH during this time period. So, ETH, you know, does a big fall from 1200 all the way down to about 80, and then it's back up uh, to kind of around 200. So again, this is another chart just kind of, again, describing the ETH die peg. Um, so, you know, the orange line is the peg, so it's kind of, there's a better chart here. Okay, so this is kind of one of the most important charts and kind of where things get a lot more interesting. So. As you can see, the orange line, um, kind of around April, you know, we're hitting about 95 cents on the peg. And this is kind of where it gets a lot more interesting because the market makers basically get overloaded with DAI. And again, the purpose of a market maker is to essentially, you know, provide liquidity, but not really hold long-term positions. So then the maker token holders, their only option was to increase interest rates cause people to close off their CDPs, thus buying DAI up and bringing it back from a 95 cent price back to a dollar. Uh, so another good chart is this chart from uh, Vishesh Chowdhury. And this basically describes the DAI peg and the different interest rates along as we're going along. So this kind of middle area is when it was around 1%, we fall to 95 cents, they start increasing interest rates. And finally, you can kind of see the peg lifting and coming back to a dollar. Uh, and and the, you know eventually they go to 17 and a half, they reduce it, then they go to all the way to 20. Okay, so what are the things we learned? There's a huge market for ETH holders who want to leverage long, and probably true for other crypto coins, and they're willing to pay a high interest rate, uh, close to a ceiling of 15% for uh, CDPs. But the normal flow of DAI ended up being with DAI being minted and sold to market makers, and not a lot, not a, not a lot of natural flow to buy DAI because there's no initial yield. So DAI supply decreases as CDPs close. Uh, this created opportunities for DAI on a compound. And finally, long DAI holders had a yield. And again, Dharma had long-term contracts, compound had variable interest rates. So this is a quick chart of like the yield that you can get on the other platforms. Uh, you know, so DAI trades above a dollar, then the maker holders basically decrease from 20% down to 10. But the cool thing is now we finally have two-way flow, which is 
There's sellers that die for leverage, there are buyers that die for who want high yield. And these are quickly a couple of the platforms you can easily use these with two, two clicks of a button. Uh, this is a, again exposure protocol, so we have a bunch of places where you can earn um, like high yield. Okay, so final thoughts. Um, again, a currency is not a currency unless it has a yield, and I believe kind of yield is a killer app that's going to bring a billion users to Ethereum. So, uh, anyway, thanks.